One of the favorites for the tournament, Kawasaki Frontale, have a great opportunity to start running off with the group with a second win. While their opponents tonight, Beijing FC, look to gain some more experience for the young players, building upon the opening day draw. And it's a quick start for Kawasaki. Seven minutes in, and Tatsuya Hasegawa has got the first one of the contest. Slotted in just past the outstretched keeper, an excellent start to the game, and it would only get better. Just one minute later, and the lead doubles up. Tachibanada finds the netting, and Kawasaki are taking off. The buildup looked pretty solid as well. Almost had the goal a few seconds earlier, but some solid keeping does the job from Kwanbo. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't last the entire sequence. 2-0. A bit of a deflection. Didn't save the Beijing backline this time around. 41st minute, just a few moments before the half, and the third goal would come. A clinical way to finish off the opening 45. Tono with number three for the Japanese side. The second half goes pretty much how Kawasaki would like it as well. Another attack in the box, of course. Shove from behind, penalty awarded, and number four. Cool, calm conversion for Kei Chinen. It's 4-0 now, as Beijing have a big mountain to climb, and it would only get taller. Throw another on the board, however they come, as long as it's in the net. No need for head or feet here, as Yamamura does it with the shoulder from the corner. A great look at it here. Doesn't need any of those pesky body parts that are legal in play. On we go. 56th minute of the game and an excellent goal. Well, excellent might not even cut it. Dream goal there. From the captain himself, Yasuto Wakizaka. Top shelf, stamped to perfection. Doesn't get much better than that. Approaching the 60th minute, half an hour-ish to go, and it would be another one. Seven on the board. Chinen with his second of the contest. Not quite as pretty as number six, but it'll do regardless. Kawasaki running away with this one. And there's one shining moment for Kwanbo in this game. And unfortunately for him, it came at the very end. Another build-up from the Japanese side. And a wonderful parry there to keep it at seven goals. That would be all he could muster in terms of the highlights as a resounding victory is on the board for Kawasaki Frontale, firmly in control of the group.